Triamterine trade name diurenium, is a potassium sparing diuretic used in combination with thiazide diuretics for the treatment of hypertension and edema. In combination with hydrochlorothiazide, it is marketed under the names maxita and diazide. Mechanism of action triamterine directly blocks the epithelial sodium channel ENAC on the lumen side of the kidney collecting tubule. Other diuretics cause a decrease in the sodium concentration of the forming urine due to the entry of sodium into the cell via the ENAC, and the concomitant exit of potassium from the principal cell into the forming urine. Blocking ENAC prevents this from happening. Amylaride works in the same way. Sodium channel blockers directly inhibit the entry of sodium into the sodium channels. Side effects Common side effects may include a depletion of sodium, folic acid and calcium, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, dizziness, fatigue, and dry mouth. Serious side effects may include heart palpitations, tingling, numbness, fever, chills, sore throat, rash, and back pain. Triamterine can also cause kidney stones through direct crystallization or by seeding calcium oxalate stones. Triamterine is best avoided in patients with chronic kidney disease due to the possibility of hyperkalemia. People using this drug should use salt substitute cautiously. Triamterine may impart a blue fluorescent color to the urine. Caution with certain disease states diabetes, use with caution in patients with prediabetes or diabetes mellitus as there may be a change in glucose control. Hepatic impairment, use with caution in patients with severe hepatic dysfunction, in cirrhosis, avoid electrolyte and acid-base imbalances that might lead to hepatic encephalopathy. Kidney stones, use with caution in patients with kidney stones. Use should be avoided if the creatinine clearance is less than 10 ml per minute. With hydrochlorothiazide triamterine is commonly prepared in combination with hydrochlorothiazide for treatment of hypertension, high blood pressure, and edema, water retention. This combination is in a class of medications called diuretics or water pills, and causes the kidneys to get rid of the body's unneeded water and sodium through the urine. Diazide is marketed by GlaxoSmithKline and Maxida is marketed by Myelin. History The triamterine ring system is found in many naturally occurring compounds, such as folic acid and riboflavin. The observation that the naturally occurring compound xanthopterin had renal effects led scientists at Smith Klein and French laboratories in Philadelphia to begin a medicinal chemistry campaign to discover potential drugs, as part of a program to discover potassium sparing diuretics. The first clinical studies were published in 1961 and the first trials combining it with hydrochlorothiazide were published the next year. Smith Klein and French launched it as a single agent under the brand Direnium in 1964. The combination drug with hydrochlorothiazidum, diazide, was first approved in the U.S. in 1965 and the first generic, brought by Bowler Pharmaceutical Co., was approved in 1987. In 1986 diazide was the most prescribed drug in the U.S. and had $325 million in sales, making it SmithKline Beckman's second biggest seller behind Tagamet. The patents had expired on diazide in 1980, but complications arose with the introductions of generics, because the formulation of diazide resulted in variable batches that made it impossible for generic manufacturers to show that their versions were bioequivalent. Bowler Pharmaceutical was in the running to be the first to bring a generic, but its application was delayed by these concerns about whether its formulation provided the same amount of each drug. These were complicated by accusations that Bowler had fraudulently substituted diazide for its own version to conduct studies that were submitted to the FDA, shortly after Bowler's generic was approved. Further concerns were raised with regard to Bowler. S applications to market generics more generally, these findings among others raised widespread concern among doctors and the public over whether generics were really the same as branded drugs. Bowler ended up recalling its generic form of diazide and withdrawing the product in 1990. In 1991 the U.S. Justice Department on behalf of the FDA filed 20 criminal charges against Bowler for its fraud, and early the next year Bowler pled guilty and agreed to pay a $10 million fine. 
Public concern over the safety of generic drugs was further exacerbated by a congressional investigation into bribery at the FDA by generics companies that found pervasive corruption. The investigation had been spurred by the generics company Mylan, which had hired private investigators based on its beliefs that competitors were getting unfair advantages in getting their generics approved. Mylan itself developed a version of a triantarine hydrochlorothiazide combination drug after the diazide patent expired, and used a different, more stable formulation as well as different dosages of each active ingredient 50 mg hydrochlorothiazide and 75 mg triantarine, compared with diazide. S25 mg hydrochlorothiazide and 50 mg triantarine, so it had to get approval as a new drug, as opposed to a generic, their product was called Maxita and was approved in 1984. The higher dose allowed once per day dosing, which Mylan and its marketing partner, Letterly, believed would help it compete against diazide, which had $210 million in sales in 1983. Mylan's patents on the drug were declared invalid in court, and its marketing exclusivity expired in 1987, prompting a rush of generic competition and litigation by two of them, American Therapeutics Inc. and Batarian Pharmaceuticals, with the FDA. Batarine, along with Par Pharmaceutical, were two of the companies that Mylan had targeted in its investigation into corruption and it turned out that Par and Batarine had each used Mylan's Maxita to obtain its bioequivalence data, leading both companies to withdraw its generic competitor to Mylan's product. Generics eventually entered the market. Research while there is a lack of randomized controlled trials evaluating the use of triantarine in the treatment of Meniere's disease, the typical treatment is 37.5 mg of triantarine with 25 mg of hydrochlorothiazide 1 to 2 capsules daily. This recommendation was given a strength of recommendation taxonomy, sort grade of C. References External links Diazide Prescribing Information GlaxoSmithKline